Hello friends, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, I'm KK and you can find your recipes which are simple and easy to make. Today I'm sharing the recipe for sauteed lotus roots with the meat. Yeah, it's a little unique combination, but it's really worth a try. So if you've all already, let's head straight into cooking. But before that, let's stop by and take a look at the list of ingredients. And here it comes. Just check this out. This is the package that I'm going to use of the sliced lotus roots. I bought this from the local Asian market. So my aunt is here and you can see we are cleaning the roots under running water, drain and then set it aside. Next we are adding half a teaspoon of cornstarch to one third cup of ground meat. Now you can use the meat of your choice, chicken or pork. Then add one fourth teaspoon of light soy sauce and then give it a mix. Yeah, we are using pork meat today and you can see it uh, gets almost mashed. We are adding half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce. So here my aunt giving me some advice on the way. So mix and set this aside. Next heat two to three tablespoons of oil in a kadhai or deep pan. Once it's heated, we are going to add the finely chopped garlic. Mm, I just love the smell of garlic. It's smelling so good. And then add the meat that we had just prepared. Now we are going to cook till the meat gets well done. So since it is uh, ground and almost mashed, it would take roughly five to six minutes for the meat to cook. So just two to three minutes before add the lotus roots. Look at them, they're looking so gorgeous. I love that design that it has naturally add one fourth teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper be mindful of the salt when you're adding because we will be adding soy sauce as well and the meat already has some soy sauce in it here you go half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce look at those roots they have acquired the color from the dark soy sauce now cover and let it cook for two to three minutes Make sure that the roots are cooked but they still have not lost their crunchiness. Finish it up by adding the onion greens. Oh look at that, I just love that combination of green and white, they're looking so good. So the final stir for a few seconds and they're ready. Remove it in a bowl. Look at that and enjoy. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed watching that video. Wasn't that extremely simple? Oh, those crunchy roots. Mm -hmm. I can still feel the taste in my mouth. So thank you for watching and do come back for more. Till we meet again, keep cooking and keep baking. See ya.